Four years ago, Amanda Gorman, our young poet laureate, struck me with the following words. For there is always light, if only we are brave enough to see it, if only we are brave enough to be it. I haven't been able to get those words, that invitation and challenge out of my mind. And so for a number of months now, I've been dreaming about the possibility of gathering together in such a way that any one of us, no matter where we are in life's journey, whether we're at the beginning of our work in the world, if we're just finishing school, if we're returning to work after being out of work, if we're creating a work out in the community, if we are building a home, if we're building a farm, if we're building a, a, a book inside, a dream, a wish, a poem, a song, wherever we are in life, if we are grandparenting, if we are grand dogging, if we are just doing the best we can to be a good neighbor, wherever we are in life, what would it be like to gather together in such a way? that we give ourselves a chance to come to know who we are, who we might yet be, and how we might yet bring that light alive. And so as I began dreaming and scheming and thinking about developing a course that would center around a journey for ourselves, another thought, another word emerged, the word valor, which is not a word I've done much thinking about, but it is a gorgeous word a gorgeous doorway into a kind of living. Valor coming from the old French valor, meaning value or worth, and from the late Latin valorum, meaning strength and merit, as well as virtue and courage. What would it be like to create a soft place to land for any one of us to explore our journey, our lives, heading in the direction of this notion of valor, but also light. And what would it be like to do so in a really kind way, not overly burdensome at all, but nonetheless deep? So I bring to you a course entitled The Heroic Journey, A Life of Valor, Purpose, Authenticity, and Happiness. It's for any seeker, Quester, somebody who has no idea what they're doing in life, those of us who have figured out this is exactly who I am and exactly what I'm going to bring, and I just want to bring it even better. Some of those of us who don't have a voice, those of us who have multiple voices to choose from, those of us who are wondering and wandering, and those of us who are perfectly content and yet have a sense that there might be more out there. This is a year-long course when we're gathered together just once a month for an exploration of a gorgeous and rich theme, all pointing toward the notion that when we choose to shape our lives, we shape the quality of those livings. And when we choose, choose to shape the quality of our living, we create the possibility for a richer, much more authentic, happier, and purposeful future. I hope you consider joining me. I hope you know already that even just the thought of spending time for yourself, with yourself, on behalf of yourself once a month is an heroic act. And by the heroic journey, I absolutely don't mean, you know, astonishing feats of something out in the world. I mean the heroism that it takes to look at oneself honestly and reflect and come to know oneself intimately so that we might bring the better parts of ourselves more fully alive. We'll be integrating poetry, art, history, philosophy, and psychology, and positive psychology, of course, but I'm creating a room here where all of the intelligences, all of the knowings are invited in. I so hope you choose to join me. I so hope you choose to consider that this might be the beginning of a year in which the light within you becomes even more effervescent and clear and inspiring, not only to yourself, but to all those you seek to bring goodness toward. Take care, everyone.